Welcome to another segment of Your Health with MU Healthcare. And here today joining me is Dr. Emily Smith, dermatologist with MU Healthcare. And uh, thanks for taking your time out this morning and joining us. Oh, absolutely. Thank you for having me. You are a dermatologist, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, skin cancer today if we if we can. Uh, I was just kind of wondering, are certain people at a higher risk for skin cancer? Absolutely. So there are multiple different risk factors for skin cancer, but certainly individuals who are fair skinned, so people who have blonde hair, blue eyes, who burn and never tan are at an increased risk for making skin cancers. Um, We know that people who have a lot of moles on their body are also at an increased risk of making a melanoma, which is one of the more serious types of skin cancer. Um, People who have been in tanning beds or had lots of sunburns in childhood are also at risk. And then people who have suppressed immune systems, so people who have had transplants and take medicine to suppress their immune system, or some people with certain types of cancers that suppress the immune system are also at risk of making a, a skin cancer. So with that being said, um, if you see a blemish on your skin, should you uh, get that checked out immediately? Is that something you you might want to be concerned about? Yeah, so if you've got, you know, we all get pimples or blemishes, and, and if they come and go like a normal pimple does, then that's fine. So if it pops up and within a week or two it goes away and there's nothing left over, it's probably okay. But if you develop a spot that looks like a pimple, but a month or two goes by and it's not going away or it's getting bigger or you notice it bleeding, without picking at it um, or it hurts or it itches or it's acting funny then it's absolutely something that should be looked at Um, many types of skin cancers do start out looking just like pimples the more common types basal cell um, carcinoma and squamous cell carcinoma can look like pimples to to start off should you uh, schedule a regular visit to be uh, checked for melanoma of your skin So most individuals do benefit from a good once-over head-to-toe skin check, and that can be done by a primary care provider or a dermatologist. Um, And then those individuals that are higher risk for skin cancers, like we talked about earlier, do benefit from a yearly head-to-toe skin check. Again, primary care doctor or a dermatologist, um, you know, is just a baseline exam. People who have already made skin cancers definitely need regular skin checks, and and we um, adjust the frequency of visits based on the type of skin cancer and how many the patients have made. Is there a proper protocol for taking care of your skin? Is there something you can do to uh, try and prevent skin cancer? Yeah, that's a great question. There are lots and lots of things you can do to prevent skin cancer. We know that sun is the primary cause, sun exposure is the primary cause of skin cancer. And so protecting your skin from the sun is one of the best things you can do. Um, And there are lots of ways to do that. Um, You know, avoiding the sun, you know, staying out of the sun between peak hours of 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. can help. Seeking the shade. Um, Protective clothing, such as wide-brimmed hats that cover your ears, the back of your neck, sides of your neck, are really helpful, big sunglasses. Um, There are really great um, brands of clothing now that have sunscreen built into them. It's called UPF, and so that can be helpful. Um, Long sleeve shirts and pants if you need to be outdoors. Um, Sunscreen is great also. It's hard to use, but it does work if you use it uh, correctly. And so we recommend if you're gonna be outdoors for a long period of time, you'll need SPF 50 or greater, and you've gotta reapply it every two hours because the sun degrades it and makes it stop working after that period of time. In general, if you can get a sunscreen on your face and the other parts of your body that are exposed, like your hands and your neck and your upper chest, every single day, that will prevent you from developing skin cancers. And so most of us are putting a face lotion or moisturizer on every day, and there are lots of brands that have sunscreen already built into it, so you can incorporate that into your daily routine, and it can be very helpful. Absolutely. Summertime is upon us, and of course, sunny days are ahead. So is there a recommended amount of sun that uh, you should be exposed to per day? We would argue that none. I mean, yes, we want you outdoors and enjoying your life and doing those things, but we don't want your skin experiencing damage from the sun. And so sunscreen and protective clothing, like we talked about, are the best ways to do that. Um, You know, we do make vitamin D when our skin sees the sun, and that's an important vitamin for us to have. However, if you're going to have to burn or become tan to get that sun exposure, it's not worth it. And so we do recommend getting vitamin D through either vitamins or diet and not through the sun. Um, Being out in the sun is great, but getting damage from the sun is not. And and so everything you can do to avoid it, um, avoid the damage, not necessarily the sun, but avoid the damage is, is really important. If folks wanted to get a hold of you over here at MU Healthcare, uh, how would they go about doing that? 
Well, we are um, open to new patients, and we're scheduling them all the time. Um, we do a special clinic here called a spot check clinic, um, where if a patient has a spot that they're worried could be a skin cancer, we hold open slots um, once a week where we can get patients in very quickly to have that spot evaluated. Um, and they can um, get scheduled just by calling our main Ellis Fischel Cancer Center number. Outstanding. I want to thank you for your time, Dr. Emily Smith, dermatologist here with MU Healthcare. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thanks again for having me. It's been another segment of Your Health with MU Health on KXEO.